you like me or not. You notice this one has three, four, five different voices he can use at any time, and some of them they slip. He just slipped into three different ones because he had his heart wasn't in this. He was reading a speech. Uh, he didn't, who wrote it from God only knows. And again, hearkening to slavery. Not talking about the current slavery by ISIS in the Middle East, but again, hearkening back to in order to agitate. That's all. All right, end of story. Let's see what else we have here. We played the dispatch calls. We played uh, the chief bugaboo in the White House. That's enough for him. We got Clinton. Oh, yeah. Although the day wouldn't be complete unless we play, played the... Uh, there's no words for her. How could you people want her to be president? Can anyone listening to this show tell me what she has that you want other than she's not a man? Why would you want this woman? What is it that you need from her that you haven't already had for 16 years? What do you want? You had eight years of her before. What do you need from Hillary Clinton that you haven't already gotten? Let me ask you something. Will our national security be stronger or weaker under Hillary Clinton? Check weaker. Let's see. Will the racial divide be wider or narrower under Hillary Clinton? Check wider. Let's see. Will the economy be stronger or weaker under Hillary Clinton? Check weaker. Let's see. Will taxes be higher or lower under Hillary Clinton? Check higher. Uh, let's see. Will freedom of speech be greater or lesser under Hillary Clinton? Check lesser. Let's say, well, you, you just go down the checklist yourself, but you don't think. You can't think for yourself. Many of you are just knee-jerk liberals, and you think because she's a woman, she's superior. I really pity women who are voting for her just because she's not a man. I don't understand that. That's very sad. That's very sad, to be honest with you. But I, you know, I'm a realist. What else now? All right, the Muslim. I don't want to do Muslim and, and Trump. I can't do it. Can we have one call other than Muslim? Is there any caller? Can you drop all the calls? I'm not taking any, Jim. I've said it till my tongue is falling out of my left ear. Change the callers or drop them all. I don't want them. I want a new board. I, I don't want this anymore. Clean them out. Not one caller up there is going on the air. Well, there's one. Line five. Hold it. Don't erase that one. Okay, let's try line five. Go ahead. Line five. Let's try one caller and see if we can get through one call without my blowing a fuse. Dr. Savage, I'm calling about the line you were uh, mentioning before, talking to before, uh, before uh, when they were talking about how this uh, Mexican guy who provided Farouk with the weapons wanted to be in the military. There's, there's no purpose uh, for that line to be in the article other than to try to imply uh, that this poor Mexican man was victimized by the country, you know, by the system, that somehow he has been... Oh, taken. that was the reason for putting it in it, that he got rejected... And as a result, he turned radical. I see. They're blaming the country again. Character. Uh, I, I didn't catch that. You'd be good in talk radio as a producer. You want a part-time job? Same America first mentality, you know? No, that's clear. You can read. You can think. You can think for yourself. You're getting a copy of a book that's going to give you more ammunition than you can use for the rest of your life. <laughs> Zero. There's more information that you can use and more in-depth analysis and more biting commentary than all the talk shows put together in the history of radio, in my opinion. I don't talk about it, you know, but there's so much in here. As a former scholar, I don't write books just to knock off a book and make a buck. And I think the most important chapter right now is the zero strategy against ISIS. I have quite a few things to say about that. If you don't know about the purge in the military that's going on under Hussein Obama, your hair will stand up. He has been purging the military of all combat officers who might have stood up to him. And he's turned our soldiers into social workers. Zero culture, first world to third world, Hollywood's war in American culture, rotten role models, a culture of envy, zero reality on race. Zero immigration, that's a hot one. What country is this? Sleeper cells amongst us, leaving Christians to the wolves, the sleepers awaken, importing crime importing disease, importing socialism, illegal immigration for profit, can we get America back? Zero religion, zero science, zero business sense, zero liberty, zero police. And then finally, I have a chapter on saving a nation with nationalism. And as you well know, Trump's moderate nationalism, it's, what, it's what's resonating with the American people. They're confusing anti-Muslim sentiment with nationalism. They're not one and the same. His motto is making America great again. Notice he uses the word America and great in the same phrase. 
That is a no-no to Hillary Clinton and her acolytes. You get it? Saving a nation with nationalism. And then I have 40 actions to save America, which I think are worth saying. One, start a nationalist party. Two, close the borders completely for seven years. I'm only going to read three of them. Three, deport all illegal aliens in American prisons. Four, repeal the anchor babies law. Five, make English the official language of the United States. You know, that is so sickening. You know, in San Francisco for over 20 years now, you could vote in almost seven or eight languages. Nine, I think. Why do you think the illegitimate who run this city wanted illegal aliens to vote? Because most people who read and write English know that they're crooks and they didn't deserve office. And that's why the city is crippled. The city by the bay that I love so much is so crippled. It's because the people who actually work and live here, the taxpayers who know what's going on, the descendants of those who built the city, understand that their city has been stolen from them through multiculturalism. But I don't want to go into that right now. 855-400-7282 is the phone number. I'll be back. Hold it. I'm going to take a break, but I'm coming back to take calls on the topics we have not yet discussed. The phone number is 855-400-7282. Here are the rules. Make your statement in 15 seconds or less, or Jim's going to hang up on you. Bye. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O. How can you win a war on terror when you have the New York Post has a headline, Confessions of a Sugar Baby? I got $500 for sex with a 75-year-old grandpa, but I'm not a hooker. I mean, is that the best that Murdoch can do? Well, it's how he built his fortune. Why should he change now? He has a variety show on Fox News with a chorus line. He, you know how Fox News got where they are, and they do a fairly good job. I mean, look at Shep Smith, how he covers for the terrorists on a daily basis and poses on a conservative network. They do very well indeed. And the girls with the legs and the shoes, I don't know what they must spend on shoes on that network. What's the shoe budget that Roger Ailes uh, gives out? Does anyone know what the shoe budget must, must be on Fox News? Do you know that if, if CNN wanted to boost their ratings, all i got to do is look at the shoes that are being used on Fox News? I don't even care if they put them on men. If Wolf Blitzer was to be moved from the... And you put women's shoes on them, the ratings would go up 10, 15 points just from the Manalos alone. <laughs> this is what they have on the front page, Confessions of a Sugar Baby. Oh, then you have to read down this and that. There's no war on terror for the New York Post. The whole thing is about celebrities. I don't get that. Then the uh, uh, horoscope. You know, watch dealer too drunk to remember $600,000 hooker heist. Again, New York Post. Central Park muggers take man's sneakers and phone and 2000 in cash. No, no description of the muggers. No description of the muggers. A man. A man mugged somebody in Central Park. No description. Manhattan Republican leader rejects calls to boot Trump from party. No kidding. There'd be no party if they got rid of Trump. There'd be four men in a knish. If the Manhattan Republican Party got rid of Donald Trump or disassociated them, four men in a katsu sandwich would be left. An empty deli tray. Police release video of suspect wanted in Queens Arsons. We can't see the picture, though, because... Uh... <laughs> Language, culture, and here he is. Michael Savage. So I added a new thing, uh, Talk Radio for the Thinking Person. It's the 10th of December, 2015, and we're living through a reign of terror, both from internal and inter external sources. The pseudo-journalists uh, are write, rewriting history as we speak it, telling us we have no reason to fear. We should only fear Donald Trump. And I try to make this a Trump-free and Muslim-free show. It's impossible. Because those are the only two topics anybody wants to talk about. But we're, gonna, we're not going to do it again in this hour. We're trying not to. I'll take the callers because first thing I want to do is read the articles that are on michaelsavage.com. Then I'll take your calls. And there's plenty of good ones uh, waiting on, on the uh, website. Uh, waiting on online right now. Sorry, I got distracted. All right, top story, <clears throat> michaelsavage.com. Facebook censors Michael Savage post of Muslims protesting. Okay. The pictures that were banned on Facebook can now be seen on my website, michaelsavage.com. Next story, man accused of raping couple day after shooting a student. If you, you know, you want to get sick. You want to get sick. You take a look at this story. This animal first shot 
a student in the stomach, a medical student, a real good medical student. He shot in the stomach with a rifle. He tried to execute him with a gun, but it jammed. You will see on the videotape this animal grabbing a girl right out of a car next to her boyfriend and running off with her into another car and taking her to a parking lot to rape her. They'll call him a victim, a victim of white privilege next, that he had an oppressed background, that he had to put... It's sickening! Former Israeli Defense Forces soldier joins ISIS in Syria. That's a big story. A Muslim Israeli citizen fled the Israeli Defense Forces and joined ISIS. Talk about dual loyalties, woo. Ooh, don't bring that one up to a Hillary Clinton. Let's see what else made it to my website. Michael Savage's new book, Government Zero, hits number three in the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, my call screener has now failed. I cannot call, talk to any callers. Nobody heard that in Dallas. I hope they can hear the show somewhere because I would like to take a caller but can't. Unfortunately, I cannot take any calls. We had a collapse in the call screening equipment. But I think they're busy now on the coffee break, so there's no way to reconnect me. So I'll continue to read my website. Next, feds arrest a mirror of ISIS recruitment effort in Minnesota. He is a Somali. Somali. Let's see what else. How did a terror tide group called CARE end up running interference in California? Terror probe asks investors business daily. Oh, here's another little one from the Daily Star. ISIS could be destroyed as Putin's airstrikes leave them in financial ruin. That didn't make it to the New York Times. He's wiping out their financial lifeline. He knows just what he's doing. He's a real war leader. He did it slowly but surely. He took out their entire financial lifeline. ISIS can be destroyed as Putin's airstrikes leave them in financial ruin. Muslim scholar. ISIS perversion of Islam is a mortal danger to Muslims. Okay. That's actually a great story. It was on CNN. A Muslim scholar says that ISIS perversion of Islam is a moral danger. That's a great story. I hope you go to, go to it. Now, since I can't get calls, I'm going to call for the caller, and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's go to line number nine. Kim, welcome to the Savage Nation. Can't get it. How about giving me line number nine, Jim? Just put line number nine up, Jim. Just put line number nine up, Jim. No, I can't hear him. Sorry, we're having technical oh. difficulties again. Yeah, hi, Kim. Hey, that was only a 30-second delay. I sat here groping for two minutes again, trying to get someone to fix it. But okay, go ahead, Kim. What's up? Um, I've been a feminist for a long time, but I would never vote for a woman to be president. And I would um, not think much of another woman that would, based on just her gender. Um, I w it, it's an insult to assume that we would just vote for another woman because she is a woman. As I said, I, I'm not going to vote for Hillary Clinton. I am a liberal. I'm a Democrat. But I will not vote for her simply because of her Wall Street connections. I've already... Wait, so wait. so But you're going to vote for her, though, because she's a Democrat? Is that what you're saying? I will not vote for... No, I've changed on that. I am nothing anymore. I used to be a very good Democrat. Well, why are you afraid of Don Why are you afraid of Donald Trump? Don't you realize your life is in danger in this country because of liberal pacifist policies? Well, the Congress won't work with him if he gets in. I it, they, well, well, wait a minute. Let, let's worry about Congress later. Don't you, as a woman, feel that the pacifism and the socialism of your party is partly or greatly responsible for the mess we're in? First of all, I disagree about the socialism. My feeling is most of the social welfare is going to Wall Street. I, my problem is limousine liberals. My problem is Glass-Steagall. My problem is the money that's involved with my party now. That's my problem. But you still won't vote for Donald Trump no matter what? I don't know, Michael. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so, no. But do, I do, are you, are you a, do you fear Donald Trump? Pardon me? Do you fear Donald Trump? I don't fear him. I don't fear ISIS either. I think my likelihood of being having my leg bitten off by a shark is more likely than my being killed by ISIS. But on the other hand, oh, so in other words, so in other words, the mindset is as long as you're not hit by a bomb, it doesn't affect you. Is that it? No, that's not true at all. Well, that's what you just said. That's the typical liberal mantra. They give you statistics that you're just as likely to die of a car accident, uh, more so than, than be hurt by ISIS, therefore why care? So you're buying into the whole liberal argument that they're not a threat. I want them in this country? And, and then it means that you have no compassion, moreover, for the victims of ISIS in San Bernardino, because it didn't affect you personally. I'm, 
I'm saying I'm not afraid of them. It doesn't mean that I want them in this country. Right now, I do think Trump has made a good statement about saying,